Next on our list, we have Impact, which is currently in beta at the time of this recording, uh, but it's an interesting report. So in this case, we want to look at uh, how one event of make completing or firing an event uh, will affect something else. Uh, so in this case, let's say, uh, let's say we want to look at, uh, let's say, view add, and then how they impacts uh, any kind of purchases, right? So there's uh, our users who view ads, do they tend to co complete less purchases before and after, right? So the first report we'll get here, uh, once it loads, uh, we'll see here a line in the middle, which is day zero. And then what we tend to look at here is uh, before, actually this is monthly, so I should look at daily. So in the days before this event happened, here's you know the average number of, of purchase events that, that we were looking at here, right? And then we see um, the number of average events uh, per active user after. So in this case, we can see there's, there's not a, a major difference in terms of uh, the, 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 the firing of the specific event, right? We have a few other options here. You know, perhaps the, the number of percentage of active users. We see a little bit of drop before and after. Uh, maybe frequency, how many total events were being fired before. Right, so I think maybe slightly more uh, before the, the view ad happens in day zero. And then we can look at properties, maybe a specific property of this of this event. So here it just comes, starts to give a maybe a more casual relationship between a specific event and how things change after that event happens versus uh, how things were before that event happens. In essence, what we look here with the impact analysis.